New this morning, fall brings cooler weather, of course, and this stuff, colorful foliage, right? And for many people, that means checking out the leaves, hikes, trips to the lake, what have you. But our changing climate is making some of those experiences a lot less pleasant. ABC's chief climate correspondent, Ginger Z, explains why harmful algae might disrupt your outdoor plans. You've likely seen it and smelled it. The slimy, colorful, and stinky stench of a harmful algal bloom growing on the surface of a nearby lake or river. These blooms caused by a rapid increase in bacteria and nutrients in the water. They're becoming more frequent and more intense, according to the Environmental Protection Agency. And while blooms have always happened, the EPA says that they're getting worse because of our use of fertilizers and warming temperatures plus heavy rainfall, a compound impact of humans and human-amplified climate change. If you have a longer summer, then you're going to have um, more time for these algae to continue to grow and grow larger and be able to go into things like so our sources of drinking water or into a lake that people like to um, fish in or play in. So I guess what you're seeing is a, a longer warm period, which will give them more time to grow. Mei Wu, the EPA's deputy assistant administrator at the Office of Water, says that blooms aren't just smelly and unsightly. They can be dangerous. She says that blooms can be toxic to not just humans, but animals too, anyone who comes in contact with the contaminated water, leading to rashes, gastrointestinal problems, and sometimes even death. Dr. Jeffrey Scott, an environmental science professor at the University of South Carolina, was part of a five-year study that looked at the harmful impacts of those algal blooms. His team found that bacterial infections caused by algal blooms have increased dramatically over the last 20 years because of the impacts of humans and the amplification of climate change. In 2004, there were about 8,000 cases of Vibrio illness, estimated cases. Today, we have 80,000 cases. And so there's this rapid expansion of Vibrios because of climate change, because it's warmer over a wider geographical area and over a longer period of time each year. Wu says people heading to the lake should check with their state for health advisories. She says people can also report suspected algal blooms with the EPA's Bloom Watch tool. Most importantly, don't expose yourself or your pets to the contaminated water. With this Climate Minute, I'm Ginger Z. 